case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in the groundbreaking 1970 case of podell v commissioner the united states tax court focused on the notion that the type of income from a partnership is determined based on the intent of the partnership as a whole regardless of the specific intentions of any individual partner the case centered around determining if the proceeds from the sale of real estate by the petitioner should be taxed as ordinary income or capital gain. The petitioner had entered into an informal agreement with a real estate operator to purchase, renovate, and sell residential properties in Brooklyn, with profits or losses shared equally between the two parties. The question at hand was whether the sale of these properties was part of the petitioner's business. Although the petitioner had entered into the arrangement with the operator in hopes of contributing to the rehabilitation of slum areas in Brooklyn, the court found that the operator's purchase and renovation of several buildings, which were subsequently sold at a profit, constituted a portion of the operator's overall business activities. As such, the court held that the petitioner was required to pay taxes on the income derived from the sale of the real estate as ordinary income, due to their involvement in the joint venture's business. Ultimately, the petitioner was subject to the conduit rule established by Section 702 b which characterizes the income in question as ordinary for both partners involved in the joint venture. As a result, the petitioner was required to pay the federal income tax deficiency for the years 1964 and 1965. Case briefs and so much more. LS data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.